In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to buy the cryptocurrency Safe Moon. Now, the easiest way to buy Safe Moon is actually going to be on a smartphone, so this whole tutorial is going to take place on a smartphone. We're going to be using a few different platforms for this to work because Safe Moon's kind of a more complicated cryptocurrency to buy. So, without further ado, let's dive in and start learning. All right, so the first step for us to make this work is we need to get our money into the cryptocurrency world. Okay, so we've got cash in US dollar or Australian dollar or wherever we live. We need to take that money and get it into the cryptocurrency world somehow. So what we need for that is to download a wallet called the Trust Wallet. So you're gonna go to the App Store right here and you're gonna type in App Store and then you're gonna click or search for the Trust Wallet. Okay, you can see that sub second one down, it's got lots of reviews, Trust, Crypto and Bitcoin. You're going to click Download. Obviously, I already have it on my phone. Once you get it, you're gonna to have to do a few steps to set it up, and one of those is it's going to give you a seed phrase. You're gonna to want to get a pen out and write down that seed phrase, because if you ever lose that seed phrase, or if you ever lose your phone, that's how you're going to access this wallet again in the future. So write down that seed phrase, because that's the only way you're gonna be able to access this if it's lost. Now, if we hop in here, uh, once you get there, you're obviously gonna have a different balance, but this is what it's gonna look like right here. So we've got the trust wallet, we've got a wallet set up, now we need to get money from our bank account inside of this trust wallet. So the way we do that is we click buy right there and you can see it's got a bunch of different coins. The coin that we need in order to access uh, SafeMoon is BNB right here. So you're gonna click BNB, it's gonna load and it's going to ask us a few different ways typically uh, that we can, we can make this purchase. All right, so you can see right here, it's got this third-party provider simplex. You might see some different ones there depending on the location that you're at, but you can pick a different number here. We're gonna choose uh, we're going to choose 75 bucks, okay? So we're going to buy 75 bucks worth of BNB, and we're going to go through this process right here. Basically, it's going to take you through a checkout page where you're going to be able to make this work. Now, it's worth noting here, certain credit cards, certain banks don't like crypto, and so they won't let you do this. You can either try a different credit card or a different bank, or you're going to have to go through a different process in order to get a crypto, buying it on Coinbase or a site like that, and then moving it into the Trust Wallet. Now it might take a few hours, but once it's all complete, you're gonna see a balance show up in that first BNB column right there, uh, that little yellow triangle. So we're gonna click on that, and we're gonna see that we've got $55 now in BNB, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is click this more button right here, and we're gonna to need to swap it to the smart chain. So SafeMoon is not on the regular Binance chain, it's on the Binance smart chain, so we're gonna to need to make a slight swap in order for this to work. We'll click swap to smart chain, and we're gonna swap 100% uh, of what we have here. So we're gonna say, well, we'll do 75%. And we'll click swap. Sometimes it takes a minute, but eventually your screen will come to something that looks like this, and you're going to click send. Essentially, all we're doing is making a swap right here. Nothing major. After a few minutes, you'll see it update, and now you'll see a smart chain balance. Now you can see here, I already had some money in my trust wallet, so obviously my balances are a little different, but that money has now been moved into uh, Binance smart chain. Now, this is how I'm going to be able to access SafeMoon is inside of this Binance Smart Chain. Now let's move on to step two, and that's giving our phone browser access to make all of this work. So you're gonna open your default browser in your phone, for me and for most iPhone users, that's Safari. You're gonna click into Safari right here, and you're gonna type in this, this piece of text right here. Let's wait for that to disappear. Trust colon slash slash browser under dash enable. And what this does is, this, or does is it gives Trust Wallet the ability to load a browser inside of Trust Wallet for, for us to be able to make some swaps here. So we'll click OK, it's gonna say open this in Trust, we're gonna say yes, open Safari inside of Trust, and now we're able to, to use a browser inside of the Trust Wallet. All right, so now we're inside of our Trust Wallet again, and you can see there's a browser button that we can click on the bottom. So we'll click browser, now it's gonna load a browser right inside of here, which is awesome. You can see it's already got Pancake Swap. we can search it if we need to, but you can see it's already got a popular one as Pancake Swap. so we're gonna click that and it's gonna load up Pancake Swap. Now we need to click that blue button that says connect. We need to connect our Trust Wallet with Pancake Swap so that Pancake Swap can access our BNB and make the swap over to SafeMoon. So we'll click connect, we'll click Trust Wallet, and you can see right there it should load up some numbers, which is the wallet address of your Trust Wallet. The next thing we need to do is actually get the address of the coin SafeMoon so that we can make the swap with them. Now the way we do that is we're actually going to go back to that browser again. So we'll click that X on the top. So we're gonna Google coin market cap right here and then we're gonna type in SafeMoon. And this is gonna give us the address that we need to make this work. You can see it pulls up right there with coinmarketcap.com. We can scroll down right here and what we're looking for is this 
address right here. It says contracts and then we can click this uh, right here and it's copied. Now we have the contract address where we can make this swap. Now we need to go back to PancakeSwap and give them that address. So we'll click X there again. We'll go to PancakeSwap right here and you can see the wallet is still connected because we've already connected it. And you can see it's got the BNB already entered there from BNB to and what we're going to do is we're going to click into there and we're going to paste. Okay, we'll click paste and it's going to say, oh, is that SafeMoon? Yes, that is SafeMoon. It's going to say, are you sure? And if you're sure you want to buy SafeMoon, you will say yes and we will continue on here. Now you can see it says, okay, how much do you want to do? We're going to click max right here and look, we, <laughs> 2 million SafeMoon. Now you're going to want to click those three lines right there and you're going to need to change your slippage for a token like SafeMoon up to 11, 12, something really high. Uh, we're going to go with 12 right here. Uh, just because of the way SafeMoon works. And now you can see here, we've got everything set up. It says, okay, you're going to get a lot of SafeMoon. We'll click swap. It's gonna uh, say, hey, <laughs> price has changed in the meantime. We'll click accept and we'll confirm the swap. And then we'll do one more confirm right here. Click send and it will submit. We can click on the view on BCSC scan to see the status of the transaction that we just put out. You can see right here, it's loading, okay. And it says, hey, the transaction worked, it's been included in a block, and it will show up uh, in, a, in a few minutes. So we will click this X right here, and we'll go back to our wallet, and we'll start refreshing madly, hoping that the SafeMoon token shows up. You might be a little scared at first, because you'll see that the BNB will disappear from your smart chain wallet, but not necessarily SafeMoon showing up at the same time. So you'll have to wait a few minutes for the SafeMoon to show up. The last thing you'll need to do is you'll actually need to add the SafeMoon wallet into your uh, trust wallet. So we're going to click on the very top right corner, the hamburger right there, and we're going to actually paste this address that we pay put in the uh, pancake swap right there. And you're going to see it says, oh, safe moon. We're going to click yes, we want to add that. We'll click done. And now look, it says, okay, you've got a safe moon wallet. And look, the safe moon wallet is already pre filled with the amount of safe moon that we purchased, which was about $70 worth of safe moon. Now remember, if you like simple crypto tutorials without a lot of complicated things on the screen, this is the channel for you. Click subscribe, and if you learned how to buy SafeMoon, click that like button. We'll see you on the next video.